wall buttons flashing the green light. <laughs> buttons flashing the green light garage door open won't work tried resetting the lock and that's not doing anything. all right so i searched online to try to find out what the flashing light means and a lot of stuff you're going to come up with if you google it is codes and the codes are going to um, tell you things like like the like the lock button is on or something some other code's going to flash but if you only get this quick flashing like this, um, I saw somebody suggested that it's the logic board. Um, turns out that is the problem in this situation. Unfortunately, these things are about 150 or so dollars new, even with an old garage door opener. This one was built in 2007. I did find one on eBay though, a used one for about $45. And so I'm gonna put that one on now. Okay, very first thing you want to want to do is unplug the system so you don't electrocute yourself. You don't need to turn off any circuit breakers because this is all the power to the unit. So just unplug it and get this out of your way. I'm just going to stick it over there to get it out of the way. All right, so first thing when pulling off this board back here is just unplugging the wires that run through the hard wires that go into the house and then like over to the button. And so these wires, they're just um, bare wires on the end. They stick in there inside those. And there's a little pinch that grabs them. And when you push these orange buttons, it releases the pincher. So you just pull these straight out. It's probably a good idea to do what we did at one time. Which one's right and what wires go where. I'm not an electrician and I'm not going to pretend like I will remember all this. So pull all that out and get it out of your way. Uh, next, we're just going to screw in two across the top and one in the center bottom to the right of where the light bulb screws in. These are Phillips and hex head, so I'm just using the Phillips. I got a bit of an extension on there so I can reach that screw in there. just popped straight out right and then as we go to pull this board off right inside there there's like a little lip so if you can just push up all right so if you just lift up like this there's two places where it plugs in right here and right here and the black one just pulls straight off like that i think the white one got pinch okay, just showing you right there more clearly like what you pulled that off of it see that little white tab behind the prongs there that kind of holds a little pressure against the plug and i was able just to kind of wiggle it out but it might help you if you're having trouble just to pry really gently like with a screwdriver first i was scared that maybe a prong broke off but it does have one little spot there that doesn't have a hole but on the new one we're just going to reverse what we did this is the old board um, this is the new one i say new but it's actually i, I saw the manufacturer date there it's a few months older <laughs> all right so let's plug this baby back in and see what we got you can tell which way it goes by that missing prong just click it down it's easy same thing with the black one we'll match them up it's really nice i wish all replacements were that simple let's just put it there and go for those little nubs there All right, now with that screwed back on, all we gotta do is plug these back into those slots there. And if you did, like I said, marked it, this will be real easy. Hold down the orange as you stick it in and then let go and it should grab it. Red to red, white to white. You can actually hold down two of the red, the red and the white together at the slide them in as far as you can and then let go. You should be able to tug on them a little bit and feel that they've grabbed. And so the right side, you're putting two in together. And the left side's really easy, just one set of wires. The right side, you need to put two whites together in the white, and then the reds together go in the gray. Things grabbed. Now it's time to plug it in and see what we got. And this is exactly what I was hoping to see. Now the wall switch is a steady green. Push the button. And, um, <laughs> I haven't hooked up the garage door yet, but I hear the motor, so that's great. Man. Okay, we just need to pull the manual handle so it slips right into that. But it's got to click in there so that this is down. All right, so once I got the new board on and everything, the green light came on 
the switch so I knew I had the good board it was working and everything but then when I turned the garage door opener the chain would only travel um, about six to eight inches and then stop and go the other way and stop and so then I was like oh no I've got more issues so I looked it up and, well I looked right that little um, LED right above the learn button there a little orange button would flash five times and stop five times and stop that code means a couple of different things could be bad um, but one one of the problems it could be is the RPM sensors bad or not working, not communicating. So then I went in here um, from watching another guy's video, I figured out what was going on. So the motor shaft runs through and comes out back here. There's a plastic cap on the end. This is called interrupter cup, an interrupter cup. Like he popped it off and he said for some reason he needed to cut down something so it would slide on further and that made me think maybe it's not slid on all the way. So I pulled it off and if you can see, inside of here there's a little metal clip that and that's what holds it on the shaft tight on the shaft i pushed that metal clip on as far as i could to the interrupter cup and then I, when i put the interrupter cup back on i was able to slide it further onto the shaft so i think what's happening is now it's better aligned this right here this chip right here is the rpm sensor this is just where it plugs in but when the rpm sensor is better lined up with the interrupter cup it works and so i think how it works is these plastic tabs Tabs interrupt the signal. So open, close, open, close, open, close. That gives it an RPM signal. So when that was all lined up, put it all back together and it's working great. Now we just gotta put the covers back on, and program your remote, and we're back in business. Save money, learn stuff, and do it yourself. Interrupt your cup. <laughs>